Well, let's see. Buffalo and blue cheese flavored cheese curls. Honestly, I did not see that. I saw buffalo and blue cheese, and I thought they were actual potato chips. These, these were next to the potato chips. They're mixed in with the potato chips on the shelf. That's what I thought they were. Cheese curls. Quick flip. Why does all snacks have 150 calories per ounce? I don't know, but this time around it's basically 15 cheese curls, 150, 470 for the entire bag. Change is good. That's just marketing. Sodium phosphate seasonings, isodium, whole bunch of preservatives, cornmeal and vegetable oil, goody. All these snack bags are looking the same, aren't they? Anyway, that's what we have this time. I will admit this. The cheese flavoring makes you want to have more. Okay? That may or may not be a good thing. You're okay after five or six, but after that, you just find yourself wanting to eat more and more. That might have to do something with the vegetable oil, or maybe the cheese flavoring. Does it taste like a buffalo wing? No. Does it taste like a cheese pixie or a cheese curl? Yeah, a puffed cheese curl. These things are not crunchy. Meaning you can actually put them in your mouth, crush them up against the roof of your mouth, and the entire flavor goes all over your entire mouth. So if that's your thing, you might like these things. Because the cheese powder gets all over my hands, I don't like it. I don't taste anything that tastes like chicken. I taste cornmeal. I taste cheese powder. There might be a hint of celery salt, but then because of all the preservatives on the back of the package, that might be artificial flavoring. Now I know that these are not potato chips, would I buy them again? Would I eat them again? Yes. Would I buy them again? No. No, I know they are cheese pixies. Puff cheese curls. My aunts, uncles, and relatives call them cheese pixies for some reason. Anyway, they are puffed cornmeal, they are covered in cheese dust, and they get all over your hands. There might be a slight hint of celery flavoring, but if you're expecting them to taste like barbecue, they do not. The blue cheese is actually there, so that probably mellows out the chicken flavoring if it's there. So no. These would be recommended for a snack if you're not going to buy them. If this is your thing, more power to you. But I'm not going to buy them again. <clears throat> to me, these are just a simple puffed cheese curl. They're made out of corn. They're not deep fried, but they have been air puffed. And the dust gets all over my hand. So I won't buy them again. But it's not a bad value for the price I paid for it. I like the packaging. And I do like the three ounces. But this one, I felt guilty about it. 
because I was able to actually put them in my mouth, crush them up against the roof of my mouth, and I found out I ate the entire bag within five minutes. Just like I did as a kid, eating puffed cheese curls, getting cheese dust all over my hands, and getting slight trouble with my aunt and my mother. So, these don't taste like buffalo chicken wings, but I did taste a little bit of celery salt, and I did taste the blue cheese. But because of the cheese dust getting all over my hands, I will not buy this again. But these are a good equivalent to standard cheese curls if you can find these in the store. So, for anybody who's made it to this part of the video, thank you for watching. And I'll see everybody in the next video.